Gentleman from Alexandria, Mr. Moran. Mr. Speaker, I rise for purposes of an introduction. Generally stated. Mr. Speaker, ladies and gentlemen, today is American Red Cross Day here at the Capitol. We are joined by several members of the Red Cross from across the Commonwealth. They are here today to discuss with you the many services and the work the organization does in Virginia. They do so much uh, vital work for us, Mr. Speaker. It's worthy of uh, mention. In 2007, the American Red Cross served the Commonwealth through 32 chapters staffed by 15,644 volunteers and 246 employees. They provided emergency military communication services to over 20,000 Virginia families trying to reach their loved ones in combat zones throughout the world. They helped over 2,000 Virginia households with financial assistance following a disaster, taught nearly 250,000 Virginians life-saving skills like CPR, they conducted over 230 international tracings for Virginians wanting to find a lost relative who may have been a victim of the Holocaust or ethnic cleansing. Mr. Speaker, the American Red Cross also responded, like so many Virginians did, to Blacksburg in the wake of the Virginia Tech shootings. The Virginia Red Cross volunteers provided counseling to over 250 students and faculty, served over 2,000 meals to the emergency workers, and provided transportation and funeral expenses to some of the families affected by the tragedy. So you see, Mr. Speaker, ladies and gentlemen, this is a vital organization. They provide so many services to our fellow Virginians. They respond when others can't or won't. They deserve our admiration and our respect. And for purposes of today, I'd ask you to give them a warm welcome to here at the Capitol. Delighted to have the visitors from the Red Cross with us today, and we thank you so much for all that you continue to do for the Commonwealth.